Ugh. Okay. Hey dolls, what's up? It's me, Miss Quiet. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Quiet, and you can make yourself at home, okay? There, drinks my fridge, put your coats on my bed, and get comfortable. Today, I'm gonna be showing you dolls how I edit my Instagram pictures. So, let's get started. Let me know, please. When it gets to the point that I look like a fool and Dancy does not look good anymore and I'm still wearing her, tell me. Tell me because I do not want to overstay my welcome with this wig, okay? So let me know. Yo, last we're going to get started. A couple things. A couple of these apps I paid for, but you're not going to need to pay for any apps, really, to do what I do. You don't have to pay for any of the apps that I'm about to do. Like, it's just a little bit harder without them, a little bit longer. And also, I kind of go hard when it comes to editing. Not even because, like, I don't feel like I look that much different. It's more like I just want the picture to be amazing. The quality needs to be A1. It needs to be top quality, top not you know like it just needs to be an aesthetically pleasing picture you could just learn a little bit you don't have to do everything I do I'm not saying that at all like I kind of take it way too far it's like the point where it takes like hours sometimes so I'm only editing one picture in this video yeah follow me on Instagram and Twitter and we're just gonna hop right into this so I've taken a good amount of pictures today they're not anything crazy they're not terrible they're not the best they're just like subpar I would say but it's okay because by the time I'm done they're gonna be fantastic so I'm gonna just pick one I don't know which one has the most potential because these are they just don't look that great right now I'm not gonna post all of them either I don't know I, would I like this probably I like this I don't know okay we're just gonna what I like that probably in this one yeah okay so we're gonna use one of those two so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you gotta download Adobe Lightroom and this app is amazing don't gotta pay for it but like, I think you can pay for people who like use presets people like sell presets like pre-edited like filters like a visco you know a visco had presets it's like that but I'm not paying for shit babe I will figure it out on my own thanks but I'm good let's just import all of them I'm gonna import all of them just so and then we're gonna just pick one after that I like to see the potential they have the photo potential okay sweet so they all imported successfully usually I don't because my storage is full I like to hit auto to start and just to see what it's gonna do for me but I definitely learned pretty fast that, like auto you can do better on your own I just literally it's so simple like I'm just gonna drag these and see what looks best so usually I have my highlights down all the way contrast up a little bit not over the top I just want it to be as bright as possible like I like to not be too dark in my pictures that's my biggest issue it's my face being like hidden so yeah I'm literally just adjusting it to what looks the best to me that's it that's all I'm gonna do for this and so that's a decent start because look at the before and after already see like this is gonna come together and now I'm gonna go to color and I usually leave these two alone I mean we can look at them just to see if there's any potential but usually just a little bit goes a long way with these two um yeah i don't know about that <laughs> i just don't like it to be like too much of one color zero that's fine my phone keeps getting darker where's my charger you guys phone i would just get darker without permission the brightness is up all the way but it's still getting darker that makes me so irritated it makes me so agitated this is vibrance is like my best friend so she looks great okay yes hon look at that already look at that this app is everything everything like if you this is if you don't do anything you need to get this app for sure okay so texture I don't want to take it too far because then things will start to get ugly my flaws will start to come out so we're just gonna chill with that one texture yeah I don't really play with these very much yeah and then I'm gonna go detail details important I'm gonna go sharpen just sharpen a little bit but ew, what was that mouth sound I just made gosh ew anyway and then I'm gonna go to detail though and I like the detail I like the detail a lot so yeah there we go okay sweet now she's ready to be played with so I'm gonna copy the setting and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to all of these to save me so much time because there's no way in heck I could remember any of that so you guys look at this this is already off to a great start isn't it like damn like oh ho, ho. okay now so what's next okay yeah just still pasting this shit isn't it pasty oh look at that paste and you, if it doesn't look good with a certain picture you can always adjust that ish so that does look good with that picture because sometimes the lighting isn't always going to be the same you know maybe that one has the most potential or part of me is saying this one so maybe we should do this one uh, this one needs the most editing so you guys can see everything I do so I'm gonna take it next download this app called Beauty Plus um, everybody needs it it is the best app for looking beautiful let me tell you that so this app is the part where we do our maintenance and we fix that this I'm gonna go to photo editor I'm gonna click on the one that we just pulled out of our app. first I'm gonna tone myself so I always make my skin more brown always don't remember, I don't make it lighter I do not do that stuff and then that's an amazing feature that's why I like this app so much is because it makes the skin tone features amazing and um, then I'm gonna get rid of the dark circles in my eyes and it literally it's also so awesome because it's just a slider it's literally just like you don't have to do that much unless your face isn't detectable in the picture you don't have to do like really that much at all I don't have to do any manual whitening or anything and whitening slider then I always brighten my eyes 
Don't overdo the brightening or else you start to look not real anymore. And then I think I'm going to do another dark circle really fast just to make sure I got all of it. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and resize my eyes as well to look more, a bit more beautiful. And then contour, guys, it's amazing. It fixes all the problems, adds light everywhere it needs to be. You see that now? Let's look at the difference. Before, after, before, after. Am I breaking out? Yep, so there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and do one more. I want to do one more. I have to edit my body too. Tone once again. See, like, look, I can make my skin. That's too dark though, like, you know. And then you could do darker here. You could do darker here. Oh my gosh, guys, sorry. It's a little bit darker. Okay, I'm do the same. Why am I doing that? This better stop. I better not hiccup again. Okay, so yeah, brighten my eyes all the way right here. I'm going to go ahead and dark circle eliminate. So I'm going to see if this looks better or not. You can go to slim and hit auto, and it will slim your face for you, but doesn't really make a difference, but it's fine. I'll just leave it. And then everything else you have to pay for. You can also narrow your nose on here. Yeah, and you can make yourself taller, but that that's not free anymore. It used to be free, but it's not now. Okay, so now we're going to take it over to the third app, Facetune 2. And I have Facetune 2, and I paid for Facetune 1. Facetune 2, though, is better, definitely. Facetune 1, the only reason I paid for it is for the patch feature. But also, I do enjoy the blurring feature. So, I have some flaws on my stomach, so I'm just going to smooth them out. Anything else needs smoothed out? Not really. Sometimes if my wig looks garbage, I will smooth my hairline down just to make the baby hairs look more natural. And also, I'm going to go to details, and then I'm going to get jiggy, and I'm going to go over all my jewelry, the details thing, and I turn it up all the way for jewelry, always. Um, this will like bring your jewelry to the light of the camera, like it will draw more attention to it and stuff. And you could add it to any part that you want it to be detailed, basically, like more embellished than the rest. And you can do it as many times as you want. I'm also going to do that over my eyelashes. It makes them just pop a little bit more. I don't really know exactly why, but it does. I usually don't do it on my eyes, but I kind of feel like they need it today. Um, that might be a little bit too much. I know. I mean, it looks fine. Yeah, because they're kind of faded. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I will whiten the background of a picture because it's too yellow, but I'm not doing that today. And then, so next thing I'm going to do as a black woman, sometimes my face is too dark, and so I'm going to, in the picture, so I like to take the whitening to it. It doesn't really need it today, but I'm just going to do that just to tell you guys, just to tell you that's like another thing you can do. It's basically the same effect that the contour method does on Beauty Plus, but to a better, like a better, it does it a little bit better, because you get to pick. I'm going to take details, and I'm going to put it on my highlighter to make it pop a little bit more, but only in certain places. Like, I would never highlight, where would I never highlight? I would never highlight above the lip, really too much I would never highlight there's just certain areas you'll know when you do it I can't remember them but you'll know when you do it because like because it will look like weird it'll make it look greasy and I'm just gonna smooth out any area where I feel like it doesn't look blended turn this move down a little bit okay there we go that looks good to me honestly this doesn't even need that much editing today and then I'm going to just to make my stomach look a bit more shapely because I feel like it I don't always do this because I don't I'm kind of like try I try to be body positive but sometimes I just like know the picture would look better if that wasn't like a factor Ugh. So just sometimes like, you know, like I would look more bougie and stuff if my stomach was just a little bit different looking in this picture. Not even to be like, but I don't like, I don't, I try, I try my best to not do this, but I'm doing it for the sake of this video so you guys can know how to do it. So refining is the key to um, making your stomach look smaller. You don't want to reshape, you want to refine. That's how you get away with photoshopping, you refine. So it looks kind of awkward a little bit, but just a little bit, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm not going to do the other one for all the rest of this stuff because it's just the same business. So I'm just gonna fi finish this one up. So now we're gonna face tune one. You don't need this, but for me, I think I'm going to defocus the background a little bit, because I feel like it would just look better if it was a bit defocused. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's a defocus tool. They also have, they have defocus and blur. Blur is like obliterating whatever's behind you. Defocus is just like defocusing it, you know? Because I don't really want my mom's Jeep to be the whole like, the part of the picture that's like stands out for most. I'd like it to be me. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna blur that. I wanna blur this power line a lot. I kinda don't want it in the picture for being real. I'm gonna get rid of it actually guys. I'm gonna get rid of that power line just to show you how to use like why I doubt why I paid like three or four dollars for this app in the first place. So basically the reason why I paid for this feature, I paid for Facetune is because of I was watching someone else's how to edit video a while ago and they have this feature that makes it so much easier to flaw correct than Facetune one does. It's called patch. And watch this like watch so I'm just gonna poke it here and do that and put it in this is the side that you decide so like if I put it here that's what you'd have it doesn't really look totally right right there but yeah sometimes this still takes a little bit of time but it's a lot easier than using the conceal method on facetune too because the conceal thing is terrible in my opinion and so yeah I'm just patching this up look at that isn't that crazy this is like Photoshop now look at me go yes honey okay so I'm just patching this fire this not fire line whatever this is called 
power line power line i'm guys sorry i'm just i'm an idiot sometimes you can still kind of see it a little bit i feel like or at least like a flaw i mean nobody's gonna notice that but me but i'm just gonna clean up a little bit more just in case there we go all gone yes bye bitch. <laughs> see you never and now that looks good so i'm gonna go ahead and export this and I'm going to go to the Kira Kira Plus app. I paid for this too, guys. You're going to think I'm stupid for paying for it, but you, I, I've got it. My money's worth a long time ago. Like, I use this for every picture I can. I'm just going to try it. See, like, it could, I could add that much sparkle, but I'm not going to. When the sparkle gets into my pupil, no. Like, I really, sometimes you cannot add sparkles because the sparkle will get into your pupil, and I'm just not here for that. Um... I don't know if I'm going to add sparkles to this picture, sadly, because it's getting in my pupil, like I just said. Yeah, so since it's not letting me really do a good job of what I was just trying to do with the Kira Kira app, I'm just going to not do it. But literally, you just slide that slider to your liking, and then you save. I thought it looked better before I blurred it, if we're being real. We've, I'm just going to use the unblurred version, f*** it, because my hair looks stupid. But then it has the power line. Okay, whatever. Okay, for this purpose of this video, I'm going to finish the one that we started, but I'm going to end up probably posting the unblurred version. Don't hate me. And now, I'm just going to take it back to Lightroom one more time, because now you can double Lightroom it. After I've made my skin more brown and stuff, I want to color correct again, just to get it as beautiful as possible. And you guys can honestly take it for Lightroom as many times as you want, but it's just like eventually I'm like, do you need to quit and just post it? Yeah, so I'm just going to try to color correct as much as I can. You see my phone just got so dark, I don't even know what I'm working with now. That's so stupid. I can't even see guys, I can't even tell the difference. My phone just went dark as frick for no reason. And yeah, so now I don't even know what the color actually looks like. That's so irritating. So maybe I'll just leave it for now. I'm gonna just do detail one more time. So a tiny bit of sharpening, because I have to pull the sharpening to get access to detail. There. I mean, see, we I don't know, because it's dark as heck, so I can't really see the what the color actually looks like now. But I do know it looks better than it did when I added it. And so here's the um, app before. Let's compare this to the original picture before my magic touch and here is after yes honey look at her look at the color like I wish I could see what it actually looked like but she looks good I, I know it looks a lot better than it did before so yeah that is how I edit my pictures now you guys know all my tricks yeah those are my tricks that's how I edit my pictures basically I do that every time but it just takes you know, a long time because I always post way too many pictures in like one photo set so don't be like me if you can help it but I hope this video was helpful to you I hope that your pictures go next level hun subscribe and comment down below these emojis for a shout out in my next video okay and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up as well if you like your girl because it helps my channel if you found this video helpful then let me know guys I love you so much and I will probably see you tomorrow okay <laughs> bye let me get this wig off my head it is like irritating me oh it's just coming right off uh -huh. I'm not about to do that like what bad baby did when she was yanking no that was the other one whatever her face was. I can never remember that other girl's name. But bye, I'm going to bed. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. You hear me? Because they're coming. And they're crawling up in your bed and they're coming to get you. <laughs> Just kidding. Guys, like I'm really a freak. I have a whole spaz. I try to keep it in in these videos, but look at me. It always comes out at the end.